You might wonder why I'm launching today's LHC News from the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, where I'm standing right now. Behind me, historic launch complex 39, the backdrop for NASA's major scientific manned spaceflight endeavors, from the Apollo missions to the space shuttle. Well, the reason is that from this history-making launch complex, very soon, space shuttle mission STS-128 is going to lift off, taking somebody and something from CERN on board to the International Space Station. Hi, I am Christer Fugelsang of the STS-128 crew. Mr. Fuglesang was for a long time a research physicist at CERN, working on various experiments, last but not least the ATLAS experiment at the LHC. Fuglesang became an astronaut for ESA, the European Space Agency, in 1992, and on his second mission to the space station, he took along a symbolic neutralino CERN gave him. Yes, we're flying a uh, little uh, soft doll almost, a uh, softie called a Neutralino, which is uh, something which CERN has made and is flying with me in space and will be brought back. And uh, the Neutralino is a very uh, nice connection between space and particle physics. Uh, neutralino is... Uh, Maybe the particle which actually constitutes the dark matter in the universe. Most of the matter which we know must be there because we can measure gravitational forces, but we cannot see it with light. So we think that might be this neutralino. We hope that the neutralino actually will be found very soon at CERN uh, when the LHC starts up and we can take data and all that. So it's a very nice connection here with the the neutralino between CERN and ESA, particle physics and, 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 and space and cosmos. this great experience at the Kennedy Space Center, let's go back to CERN to learn more about dark matter and neutralinos. Certainly less spinning than this. The experiments are very capable to find dark matter. If, for example, supersymmetry is the symmetry which nature has realized, then I'm very, very confident that maybe even very quickly we can find with the LHC experiment supersymmetry. And that would be great. I mean, imagine we have taken roughly 40, 50 years in order to find and to, to really discover the standard model of particle physics. But that only explains 4 to 5 percent of the energy and matter density of the universe. I think LHC is the right machine to bring the first light, to shed the first light into the dark universe. There are more and more connections between space research and particle physics, but uh, on, on, on the methodology, for example, and, and, and such things. But also on, on the science itself, there is a, a, large, a very strong connection, especially through dark matter. I mean, astronomers and astrophysicists will tell us in the next, I don't know, 10, 20 years with their modern, with their new telescopes, they will tell us how dark matter, for example, has shaped the universe. And with the LHC, we will find what type of matter that really is.
The LSE experiments are trying to detect whether neutralinos are produced in the high energy proton proton collisions at the LHC. This is one way of trying to understand whether neutralinos exist. Another experiment, now based at CERN, is going to fly directly into space on board the Space Shuttle Discovery in 2010 and dock at the space station to try and observe neutralinos directly. This incredible experiment is called AMS, the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer. Uh, AMS is a particle physics experiment used the technologies developed at CERN but put into space. The advantage for space is the highest energy particles are really produced in space. The purpose is for the first time to very accurately measure very high energy charged particles and light rays, such as search for the whether antimatter exists or not, or neutralinos, origin of dark matter exists or not, or are there materials made out of three quarks? You know, all the material on Earth are made out of two kinds of quarks, U and D. The question was whether the particles made out of U and D and S. And it's a list of questions. LHC is looking very carefully in a region okay, limited by the LHC energy. As uh, Professor John Ellis has pointed out, in space, you can look for neutralinos right, in a region not covered by uh, LHC because you, in space, there's no limit of energy. And in the AMS clean room, we have the incredible chance of meeting NASA astronaut Dan Petit. What's the purpose of your visit? Uh, I've been here to uh, uh, tour CERN and to look at the, the AMS uh, hardware as it's being assembled. I will be on uh, space station about nine to ten months after IMS has been placed on there. I will be a crew member. I am very anxious to see this get placed on space station and start collecting data because this, as an instrument, again, will be exploring new, uh, new scientific space that, that human beings haven't been able to look at before. And this is another example of how close the research into the infinitely small of particle physics is with the infinitely big of space. Thank you very much, Dan.